Yeah, you clicked on this video so you know what it's about. We're setting up the Aver Media Light Gamer Ultra to our Xbox Series S using our MacBook and not a PC. So for all the MacBook users out there, I'm going to teach you how to set it up. There's no videos on YouTube really on using the MacBook, even not with this product. This is a great product, but it's not that popular on YouTube, so it's really hard to come by videos. It took me forever to figure out how to set it up the right way because I, there's no videos. I had to go through crazy blogs. So I'm gonna make a video, teach you guys how to set it up so you don't have to go through everything that I went through on setting it up and getting it working. I'm um, gonna show you the hardware side, so connecting all of the cables, the HDMI cables right there. Um, and then I'm gonna take you over to the software side so you actually get to see uh, my settings that I use so that way your video is not messed up. So let's get into it. Okay, now that we changed camera positions, um, I'm gonna show you what you need to set this up and then uh, we're gonna go and, and set it up. So first thing you will need is uh, for MacBook, remember this is for MacBook Pros only. Um, you're gonna need this cable right here. This is a Thunderbolt cable. And the reason why you need this is because the connector for the capture card is a USB-C or Thunderbolt. They're both to have the same um, connector type. And then uh, on the MacBooks, um, they're USB-C ports only. So you would need this uh, cable for your MacBook. You have to purchase this separate it's just this this does not come with the capture card i have a link in the description on um, where you can buy this from um, you're going to need your capture card of course <laughs> um, and you're going to need a macbook uh, this is my macbook pro this is a 2019 macbook pro um, 16 inch uh, over there is my series s and over there is my ps4 um, they work the same, so if you have a PS4, or PS5, or 360, or Xbox One, or Series S or X, uh, this setup is the same. For, for PC players, I don't know how you would connect this to a PC um, because I don't have a PC. Um, also, you're going to need two HDMI cables. Um, one came with my Series S. The other one, I believe, came with the Live Gamer Ultra. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember, <laughs> but I think it came with it. Um, if not, then I'll have a link in the description on where you can purchase a HDMI cable from. Um, that way you can you can set it up. So um, it's very simple. Uh, on the back, you have uh, your HDMI out port right here um, and your HDMI in port right here. I don't know if it fo is this focusing. Uh, it's suck at focusing, whatever. Apologize for the camera. And then uh, on the back, you have your um, USB 3.1 connector right there. So for your HDMI in port, that is the cable that's gonna connect directly to your um, Series S or your, your whatever your console is. And then the HDMI out port is the one that's gonna connect to your monitor or for your TV. So let's set this up really quick. So once it's set up, oh, how do I fix that? Okay, once it's, once it's set up, um, it's gonna look like that. I just have, the reason why I have my HDMI cords um, over there is because I have it tied underneath my desk so I can't, you know, pull the cord out and stretch it. So let's uh, move the MacBook to the side really quick. Okay, and then now we are going to connect the Thunderbolt cable. goes in one end like that, and then the other end goes into your MacBook. Okay, let me set that down. Boom, now when it's set up just like this, this is exactly what it's gonna look like, boom, now you're done. You set everything up on a hardware side, that light is gonna turn on, that is normal. It just means that it's uh, receiving power because my MacBook is not turned off. It's just, you know, in sleep mode. So now I'm going to take you over to the software side. So let's go.